Hi, this is Munson from Munson Music, and we're talking about how you can play a song called Do It Like Nobody's Around by Big Tom Rush. And we're going to talk about where we're going to move this with the capo in just a moment, but we're going to start out on a C major chord. And the way you play C major, first finger is going to go to the B string on the first fret, second finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret, and third finger is going to go to the A string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a C major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then on the first one from the C major, we're going to be going to a G major chord. And the way you play G major, first finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret, second finger is going to go to the low E on the third fret, and third finger is going to go to the high E on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, then that sounds a G major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the G major, we're going to be going to an A minor chord. And the way you play A minor, first finger is going to go to the B string on the first fret, second finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret, and third finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, then that sounds an A minor chord, and it sounds really, really sad. And then from the A minor chord, we're going to be going to an F major chord. We'll talk about a really easy way to play this in a moment. But if you know the bar F major, you do your first finger across the entire first fret. Second finger is going to go to the second fret on the G string. Third finger on the A string on the third fret. And the pinky is going to go to the D string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an F major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. But a lot of times, if you're just starting out or you just want to avoid the bar chord, actually, you can play a substitute for that called F major 7. And the way you play F major 7, the first finger is going to go to the B string on the first fret, second finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret, and third finger on the D string on the third fret. And if you strum just the D, G, B, and E, kind of the skinny four strings, that'll get you your clear sound with that. And that's called F major 7. And then we're basically going to be starting that over again for our verse. So we got C major, G major. A minor, F major, but a lot of times with a song like this to make it a little bit more interesting, I like adding something called a strum pattern, and one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So if you took the C major and just tried that a lot, you'd have down, down, up, up, down, up. get your right hand used to it but then if we try that through our chord progression we got C major down up up down G down down up up down B minor down down up up down F down down up up down C down down up up down G down down up up down B minor down down up up down F down down up up down C down down up up down G down down up up down B down it almost feels like you do a big down and kind of kill it with your right hand. It's almost like a stop time thing where you just do a big down kill it with the right hand. And then we go into our chorus part. The weird thing about our chorus part is we actually end up halving a lot of our chords that we're playing. So one way to do that is to do just a down down up on each chord. So if we tried it that way we'd have C down up G down down B minor down down F down down C down down G down down B minor down chord at the very end of our chorus and the way you play a D major first finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret second finger is going to go to the high or the skinny on the second fret and third finger is going to go to the B string on the third fret and if you strum just the D G B and E you know, the skinny four strings that sounds a D major chord and it sounds really really happy and then on the D major we actually get to do the whole strum pattern so we got D down up up down up and then an F down up up down A minor down big G with our stop time kind of kind of down kill it. Now one other thing you may want to try for the D major is in the recording instead of playing regular D major it almost sounds like they're, they're playing something called a D slash F sharp which means you're playing a D major but with an F sharp in the bass. So one way to do that would be taking first finger you're going low E on the second fret, second finger on the G string on the second fret, third finger on the high E on the, on the second fret and taking the pinky and going to the B string on the third fret and if you strum all those together, that sounds a D slash F sharp or a D major with an F sharp bass. Another way you can play that chord is taking a regular D that we were talking about and taking your thumb and going over the low E string on the second fret to kind of add in that note. So if you wanted to, you could kind of use that as a substitute for your D major. 
Now another way you could kind of half the strum pattern too, instead of doing down, down, up on each chord, you could actually split the down, down, up, up, down, up between the chords. So for instance, you could take the C and do down, down, up, and then go to the G for the up, down, up. So if we tried it that way, we'd have C, down, up, G, up, down, A minor, down, down, up, F, up, down, C, down, down, up, G, up, down, A minor, down. And then from there, we'd be going into our bridge part, which really just mixes up a lot of those things we're talking about. So if we tried it through our bridge, we'd have our C down, up, up, down, G down, down, up, up, down, E minor, down, down, up, up, down, F down, down, up, up, down, and kind of a big F stop time. And then we'd be going back into our chorus and then kind of using our verse for our outro. Now one of the weird thing is, instead of starting on a C major, Big Tom Rush is actually starting on an E flat major chord. So what you want to do to play along with the recording is if you take a capo and put it on third fret, then now your C major is really an E flat major. Your G major is really a B flat major. Your A minor is really a C minor chord. And your F major is really an A flat major chord. And when we get to it, the D major is really an F major chord. But to try that from the very beginning that way, we got our verse with the C down, up, up, down, G down, down, up, up, down, A minor, down, down, up, up, down, up, F down, down, up, up, down, C down, down, up, up, down, G down, down, up, up, down, A minor, down, down, up, up, down, F down, down, up, up, down, C down, down, up, up, down, G down, down, up. And then we got our chorus part, and we, we could try that with that down, down, up on each chord, where we got the C, down, G, down, down, A minor, down, down, F, down, down, C, down, down, G, down, down, B minor, down, down, F, down, down, C, down, down, G, down, down, B minor, down, down, G, down, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, F, down, down, up, up, down, up, B minor, down, up, up, down, B, G. And then we got our bridge part. So we got our C down, up, up, down, G down, down, up, up, down, B minor, down, down, up, up, down, F down, down, up, up, down, B F. And then we're back to our chorus part. So we got, and actually if we were going to try our chorus part this time with the, with the halfing, then you have the C down, up, G up, down, B minor, down, down, up, F up, down, C down, down, up, G up, down, B minor, down. After that, that second chorus, then we go into our outro part, which is kind of like our verse. So we got our C down, up, up, down, G down, down, up. I would think about adding to the song though is what you're working with basses and what I mean by that is a lot of times on your very first down instead of doing the down over the entire chord you could do just a bass note for that chord so for instance on the C major you could do an A string for the bass because that's the lowest note that has the name of the chord so on the C chord we got an A bass down up, up, down, C with an A bass down Up, down, and then on the F, if you're doing the F major 7, you can do the D string 
we tried it through our verse, that way we'd have C with an A bass, down, up, up, down, G with an E bass, And if we're doing just the halfing where we do down, down up, we could actually do in the basses on, on doing a bass down up through those chords. So on our chorus, we could have C with an A bass, down up G with low E bass, down up A minor with an A bass, down up F with a bass, down up C with an A bass, down up G with low E bass, down up A minor with an A bass, down up F with a bass, down up C with an A bass, down up G with low E bass, down up A minor with an A bass, down up G with low E bass, down up D slash F short with low E bass, down up, up, down up F with a bass, down up. that through our bridge part, we'd have C with an A bass down, up, up, down, G with a low E bass down, up, up, down, we power with an A bass down, up, up, down, down with a bass down, up, up, down, begin. And then on our second chorus, actually, actually we could do that same thing. So we got a C with an A bass down, G with a low E bass down, we power with an A bass down, up with a bass. Would be like like our verse. We have the C with an A bass down, up, up, down, G with low E bass down, up, up, down, A minor with an A bass down, up, up, down, down with a bass down, up, up, down, C with an A bass down, up, up, down, G with low E bass down, up, up, down, A minor with an A bass down, up, up, down, down with a bass down, up, up, down, and a big C kind of at the end. So that's another option to kind of kind of play through the tune. But that's the basics of how you can strum through. Do it like nobody's around. Big Tom Rush. So good luck!